Well, one local woman may feel conflicted in this run-up to the Super Bowl. She's a diehard Patriots fan, but her workplace has a strong connection to the Falcons. WBZ's David Roby show is live at Gillette Stadium with that story. Roby? Lisa, we've done a bunch of divided loyalty stories over the past week or so. So what happens if you're a huge Pats fan, but you work for the Falcons owner? Well, you try to deal with the problem point blank. While Debbie Kleinman works in her Babson College office, there's a photo of a man giving her a blank stare. Literally a blank stare. That's Arthur M. Blank. The foundation Debbie is the executive director of is named after him. So is the building she works in. So we have a dilemma because the Falcons are owned by Arthur Blank, who is a Babson College alum, 1963. And Debbie is a huge Patriots fan. She wants to be loyal to the man she greatly respects. But at the same time, you know, I grew up here. Um, I've been a Pats fan my entire life. And it's really hard to, you know, know that my job is being part of the Blank team. But in my heart, I'm definitely a Pats fan. The Arthur M. Blank Center for Entrepreneurship at Babson has launched the careers of hundreds of students. In their Academy of Distinguished Entrepreneurs, there's a photo of a guy you may recognize, Robert Kraft. Now the teams of those two giants of industry will face off for a world championship. Debbie is rooting for the Pats, but hoping for a call from Mr. Blank. We heard that he was taking all of his staff um, all the Falcon staff and everybody that works for the team with him to Houston for the Super Bowl. So we kind of thought, you know, hey, are our tickets on the way? Are they going to come soon? <laughs> Debbie and the couple dozen employees she works with are going to be waiting for that phone call from Mr. Blank, but they may have to take a number. His other big company you may have heard of, Home Depot, has 370,000 employees. Probably a few ticket requests from there. Live in Foxborough, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News. Just